Hi. In this video, we'll be setting up the Cisco SPA-112 and Bogan ADP-1 for use as an intercom with the voice over IP PBX. No configuration is required on the ADP-1 with the exception of the volume levels, so this video will be focusing on the ATA. In this case, the Cisco SPA-112. This will also work with the Cisco SPA-122. You can use the ADP-1 with any analog PBX that has intercom support on analog lines, or with a voice over IP PBX and a supported ATA. If you're not using the Cisco SPA-112 or SPA-122, then this video probably won't be of much use to you. Okay, let's get started. The first thing we'll need to do is to connect the SPA-112. Plug in the power, network, and an analog phone cord. Then plug the other end of the analog phone cord into the ADP-1. Wait for the SPA-112's power light to stop flashing and remain steadily lit. Once the SPA-112 has fully booted up, we'll need to get the ATA's IP address, which is available within the built-in IVR. We've previously made a video explaining how to do this, and it's linked in the description of this video. You'll need a standard analog phone, since the ADP-1 has no keypad. Once you have the ATA's IP address, enter it into your web browser. If the ATA is in its factory default configuration, you can log in with admin admin. Enter the IP address of your PBX into the proxy field. Now create an extension in your PBX for use with the intercom. Make sure to copy your secret since we'll need that in a minute. Now you'll need to decide if you want the intercom to ring a single extension or a ring group. If you want to use a ring group, configure that now and take note of the assigned extension. On the ATA's Quick Setup tab, configure the extension you've created for the intercom. Fill in the dial plan with the extension or ring group you want to ring when someone presses the call button. In this case, we want the intercom to call extension 1000. Again, this can be replaced with any single extension or the number to any ring group. Once you've verified that all the settings are correct, click Submit and wait for the ATA to reboot. Once the power light stops flashing and remains steadily lit, the line 1 light should also be steadily lit green. That should be all we'll need to do to configure the intercom. Let's test it out. Press the call button to see what happens. The extension or ring group we configured earlier should start ringing. Once you pick up the extension, your call should be connected to the intercom. There's no way for the guest to hang up or cancel the call once the call button is pressed. The intercom call is only ended once the called party hangs up or if you manually disconnect the ATA's phone line. Test, test. Hello, testing one, two. That sounds like a successful test. The next step is to adjust the speaker and microphone volumes on the back of the ADP-1, and then the setup is complete. If the ADP-1 is being installed outdoors, be sure to use a water-resistant outdoor-rated electrical box so the unit isn't damaged by water or other contaminants. Ideally, the ATA should not be installed near the ADP-1 and should be installed in a secure location. If you have any questions and would like to open a paid support case, our contact information is in the video description. Thanks for watching and have a great day.